Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome to the next tutorial of UV mapping Cora so that we can get her ready for texturing. In the last tutorial, we UV mapped her head and her neck. In this video, we are gonna go ahead and move forward with the body. If you are new to this channel, I post tutorials on a weekly basis, software include, Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and so much more. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. So bring out your creativity, open up that software, and let's go ahead and UV map Cora's body so we can get it ready for texturing. Exciting stuff. Her head is done, her neck is partially done. Let's go ahead and UV map her body. Let's start off with the easy stuff. Let's start off with her arm. So what I'm gonna do is actually isolate select. Let me grab that and I'll be easier to see. And I'm gonna start off with her arm. And you gotta make sure that you select. I'm gonna turn off this and then turn on, turn off the grid and then turn this on, which is the uh, default shader. So it looks like it's a Lambert even though she's got textures. And the tricky part for this one is that I actually, mo whoops, I actually modeled her um, with wrinkles on her shoulder. All right, so that looks like it's her arm, which is good. And then what I'm gonna do is go to UV's cylindrical mapping, and then I'm going to close it, and it looks crazy over here, but that's because we need to uh, rotate the projection. So as you can see, the projection's actually going up and down, right? And but my arm is actually left to right, so it's projecting weird. So to rotate it, I can click on this little red T. I had my attributes. If you don't like that little red T, you can rotate it over here in the attributes. There is a rotation angle, my gosh. Um, maybe not that one. I'm gonna rotate it using the manipulator. So click on this little guy and just kind of rotate it. I'm sh oh, there it is. See, you see how there's a rotate right here? Um, I'm gonna rotate it as, as much as I can so that it actually looks like it's the projection is following character arm direction. I have to rotate it on one direction, maybe the other, maybe it needs to go further this way or not. And, and I'm kind of watching both this projection specifically and just kind of trying to see if I can get it to look good. There is a ginormous hole there and I'm trying to figure out where that's coming from, but I guess I'll figure that out later. Try to get as much of a rectangle as I can, as I possibly can. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now. This part's weird. <laughs> I have to find out what's going on. All right, uh, let's hit one so we can see the low poly version here. And is it you guys that are having an issue? Yes, why, you're right there. Bizarre. Okay, let me move things, no, oh, it's attached. Okay, let me just grab these. I know they're supposed to be stitched together, so let's go ahead and just stitch together. Um, and then let's go ahead and lay it out. So I'm gonna go to faces, I'm gonna move this aside, and then I'm going to unfold it, which makes it look way better. Turn on the grid and that looks way better. Now, the question is, where is the seam? You can see that the seam goes all the way up the arm and then it kind of does a step. And I, that's not the ideal scenario. Um, I also wanna make sure that my seam matches where my hand is gonna be. So let's go ahead and work on the, the hand and then we will work on uh, the whole thing together. So I'm gonna go and click on shift and click, which means it will select the hand and deselect whatever it was selected. And then I'm using control to deselect the rest. Okay, cool. Don't forget to save. All right, so not my best models of hands, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and do a planar mapping options. And I have my camera on, keep image width and project. I need to move my UV so I can see what I'm doing. So let's go to edges. I'm going to double click. I'm going to deselect my arm and anything else that uh, has an edge. Then I'm going to shift double click here. Deselect, deselect, deselect. The only thing I want in my UVs is the edges of the hand. Shift, right click, cut. Faces, shift. And if I turn this on, you're gonna see that it's going, one of them is going the wrong way. Shift, right click, flip. Grab some edges. Shift, right click, stitch together, and then unfold. Now I could probably unfold, unfold, there we go. Uh, to be fair, my fingers, my pinkies can probably be stitched together as well. So why don't we avoid as many seams as possible and go ahead and sew them together. 
Shift right click. So, and then of course we can face says unfold, unfold. So what I did was actually sew the thumb together instead of the pinky. And I actually want the pinky to be the one that's cut because most people will see in a, in a regular pose when you're standing straight and you're looking at the camera and your hands are down, your thumbs are facing the camera. So you have a tendency to see the thumbs more than you see the pinky. So I got a little ahead of myself here and instead I'm gonna cut this side. So I'm going to cut right through the, the area that I just sewed together. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that's all I have. And I'm going to cut because what I'm gonna do is actually sew this area together. There we go. Shift right click, unfold, unfold, there we go. And what's really nice is that it goes all, coincidentally, it actually is going up the arm as well, which is perfect for me, except of course the stair step. So if you guys need to, for your character, make sure that you cut the edge right here. It should be one nice line through the hand and then up the arm. That would be the best bet for your UVs. So you don't have any stair stepping. It's a nice clean line. So for me, I actually have to cut this edge here. So I'm going to go through and cut that edge. Right here. Shift. Oh. Make sure you don't miss a line. Here it is, pink. Shift, right click, cut. Go over here. Shift, right click, stitch together. Faces, unfold, unfold. Let's get closer here. Edges. Let's sew. All right, that looks nice and clean. There you go, we got an arm. Woo! Now you may be wondering, can you transfer your UVs from one side to the other? And the answer, unfortunately, is no, <laughs> that I'm aware of. Um, let, let me sew these guys. Shift right click, stitch together. There we go. Let's unfold one last time. There we go. If you want to, what you can do is actually UV map one side of it and then just delete your character half of it and then mirror it to the other side. That's an option. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to UV map both of them. So what I'm going to do is actually UV map uh, one side of it and then I'm going to just mirror it to the other side. It's just a lot faster in my opinion. All right, moving on to the legs. I'll do the torso last. Let's go ahead and grab our legs here. Pink. Again, I'm choosing these because it's fast and easy. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the crotch. There you go. And then we can UV map cylindrical. Uh, okay, so you can leave it here, the seam, and then you know fix it yourself, or you can click on this little red T and rotate the seam so that it's inside of your leg, right? So you have an option to actually cut and sew, but you can also do it in the projection. So if I go through and start moving the seam, what I want is the seam to be inside her leg because most people are not gonna look inside the leg. They have, a, they have an opportunity to probably see the outside of the leg way more than they'll see the inside of the leg. So it's easier to just put the seam there. Now, if you want to, you can, again, are more than welcome to UV map it, cut and sew. I just thought this was a little faster. And there we go. So let's go ahead and Unfold, unfold. There we go. Cool. The torso. So let's go ahead and grab a big chunk. So I'm going to grab a big chunk. And again, I can use my UVs to deselect. So I'm holding down control and deselecting the things that I don't want selected. Now the neck, unfortunately, is inside my UV space. So let me just deselect the neck fairly quickly. Double click. There we go. And then the arm. And just deselect the things you don't need. Something, but select the ones that you do need. 
Okay, that should be pretty good, I think. We'll find out real quick. All right, so I have all my faces selected, and what I'm gonna do is actually just planar map. So go to UVs, planar mapping options, and I am going to choose, if you're not sure which way, take a look at down here at the manipulator, which I do all the time, and you'll want Z. Apply. Here it is, I'm gonna move this aside. And then it's up to you where you want your edges. I usually put them exactly where the edges are on my clothes. So for example, there's always a seam up here at the shoulder. And I think, did it go all the way? Nope, let me double click on this one too. Shift double click. I know it's selecting everything, but don't worry. I'm just going to go through here and click on the side of the body and the side of the body. And then just like I did before, I'm just going to deselect the other ones. So let's go ahead and deselect these. Definitely don't want the neck. If I click cut faces, not really sure why it's selecting those, but let's move that over here. And then we're gonna double click on these, deselect these. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. It's kind of weird. And then unfold, there we go. Turn on a grid to see all the glory. Still not sure why it's selecting these, it's a little bizarre. Um, and then we can rotate them so that they're facing the correct way. Now it's up to you if you wanna sew them. Some people sew them at the shoulder, some people sew them here. I'm actually gonna keep them independent, so it's totally up to you. All right, so basically everything's ready. I'm just gonna delete half of my character, so let's go to general. And then I'd like to do this in my front view. I'm gonna to go to faces and just kind of go in here and delete half of my character. Delete. Now, you guys are more than welcome not to do that. <laughs> You're more than welcome to UV map the other side, but I just find this to be way faster. Then I'm gonna to go to mesh mirror. And I like to change this to 0 0.07. And then I like to push this just a little bit to the left. Press the number three and then check to make sure everything's looking good on this side, which it looks like it is. Let me check. She is not aligned. Let me turn off isolate select, grab everything. And what I mean by not aligned is that her spine is not at the center of the here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that her edge right here, it just makes things easier, especially when it comes to rigging, that she's smack in the center along here. And then I also wanna check her head is there too. So it looks like it is, okay, good. All right, it just helps with rigging. So that being said, let's go ahead and I'm gonna center the pivot, delete the history, freeze jet transformation. Let's go back to the UVs because we're not done yet. Panels, perspective, perspective. Press the number six on your keyboard. Select this, isolate, select. And you will notice that kind of like half of our body and everything is missing. And the reason why is because they're actually overlapped. So if I go to faces and I move, you're gonna see that I actually have a right arm. Here's her left arm. Same thing with her leg, which I need to tweak, I just noticed. And then what happened to her leg? All right, looks like I accidentally deleted her leg or parts of her leg. So that's something that you gotta be careful with, but it's gonna be a relatively easy fix. Let's go ahead and grab some edges. Let me turn off this grid. Select these edges, shift select this edges, and then we can just go ahead and bridge. So shift right click bridge. We can add a division, so add one division. It's okay if it turned green. <laughs> and then after that, we just have to merge. So let's shift right click target weld, and you can target weld these bottom vertices. And maybe tweak the vertices here as well, pink. Uh, the green just means that it lost its shader, so we can just shift right click existing, and I believe this is her arm and pant blue. There we go. We are gonna have to fix the UV, so let's go ahead and grab that edge. So yeah, this is why it's really important to make sure that you are paying attention, because otherwise you're gonna get a little extra work, but that's okay, everything can be fixed. Mostly everything can be fixed. So I just made that cut there, and then I'm going to sew. And then I am going to sew these guys as well. G. Double click on faces. And then unfold. There we go. And yes, these are overlapped, so just keep that in mind. So double click, overlapped, double click, overlapped. So all of them are overlapped. And if I click on this, you'll notice that a lot of them are need to be flipped.
which we'll do that in a second. But let me fix this other pant. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Just grab those edges, shift right click, bridge, division, pink, one division. Now shift right click, target weld, click and drag, whoa. Well, I guess edge to edge is not bad either. I prefer vertice to vertice, but that will work too. Make some adjustments. Gonna go ahead and cut, cut. Go ahead and sew. Sew for G. Double click on fold. Select those faces and whoop, right click. Existing material, pant blue. All right, hooray. Take a look, and she's basically UV mapped. She just need, we just need to sew things together. So, for example, if you you want to sew this, just stitch together. Same thing for the front here. Stitch together. I just click the letter G. Unfold, unfold. Double click, unfold. I know they're upside down and everything. I need to fix a few things, but you get the idea. We. Uh, all right, let's grab the edges for the neck. Stitch together. Unfold, unfold. There we go. And then some of these are red, so it's partic particular this one, the only thing we need to do is flip. All right, so the body is UV mapped. Now we just have to start laying it out. The first thing I'd like to do is save. So don't forget to save. And then I like to go into transform, go down to textile density, and my map is probably gonna be about 2048. You're gonna click on get, and then we're gonna click on set. So what that's gonna do is you'll notice is that the grid is actually now all the same size. And that's very important because you want the texture information of the body to be even everywhere. You don't want certain areas to have more texture information than others. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and lay it out. Let's see what it does. I don't know how, it's not great, but it works. Let's go to object mode. Let's go to layout and there you go. So everything remains the same grid size and this is not the best layout I've ever seen, but let's go ahead and fix it. Um, I personally like to make sure everything's in a particular area, like the left sides on the left side and the right. Now, of course, this is my left, not her left. If you needed to scale anything up, which is what I plan to do, is actually scale the legs. It does change the textile density for all of our objects, but we just want to make sure everything fits. And let's not forget that this neck is actually part of another UVs, right? So the head. So I got to double check to make sure the UVs fit. Maybe slightly rotated so everything fits. And if you want to make sure, just double click on this area and if it's outside of bounds, it will trigger it. So just make sure everything's in the zero to one space. And there we go. We have textile density. We have our UVs. Let me bring out the face. Whoop. Let me go to object mode and click on her. So her neck, probably gonna increase the scale of the neck just a little bit. If I'm not worried about the textile density of the head compared to the body because most people focus on the face. So the face and there's going to be close up. So the face definitely has to have a lot of really good texture information. And there we go. We did the arm, the legs, the torso, the head. Next is going to be the accessories, which includes all of these armbands, um, the boots. And then we're going to have to do the hair as well because that's going to need its own thing. Um, I am thinking about using X-Gen hair but I also wanted to demonstrate how to texture it. So he, um, lots to do, lots to cover. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. If you did, please like, and subscribe. That is your message to me, letting me know that you like this content and that you want to see more. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Did you like this video? Did you learn a thing or two that please let me know? I would love to hear from you. I do actually, in fact, read all your comments. I don't get to respond to all your comments, but I do appreciate you leaving me messages because I do read them. Take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you can find free resources for you. That includes free 3D models, eBooks, references, and so much more. So take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. If you would like to support, support me further, then please Take a look at my e-courses. If you purchase one or two, that would be amazing. That's another fantastic way of supporting me, which helps me build more content like this one. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating and I will see you next time as we continue UV mapping Cora, the last airbender.